I'd like to welcome everybody to the August 8, 2019 meeting of the Planning and Zoning Board. Thank you. Brad, can we have a roll call, please? Sure. Uh, Marshall Ballard? Here. Pat Daughtry? Here. Don Black? Here. Ann Shout? Here. Aaron Beatty? Here. Sonny Aliza? Here. Raymond Layton? Here. We have a quorum. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome our new member, Ann Shout, who was appointed by the mayor, and thank you for being here. If you have any questions, you can ask, I'm sure, any member of the board and our staff at the Planning and Zoning Board is most, has been most helpful to me. Thank you. Um, first uh, matter of business is approval of the minutes from the previous meetings. Has everybody had a chance to review them? Without objection, do we have unanimous consent? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Now on to new uh, business. The consideration of request from Mr. Steve Tyson, a registered agent of the company Lakeburn Development Company, LLC, to rezone 88.1 approximate acres from C4 um, neighborhood business district to C5 office and institutional district to C3 common district. The properties are further identified as Craven County Parcel Identification 8-240-105 and the property is located in Ward 5. Um, Brad, can we have the uh, Planning Department's review of this? Sure. Um, as you said, it's the, uh, this is an application to rezone from C4 and C5 um, commercial districts to the C3 commercial district. Um, the property is located at 1701 Simmons Street. Uh, all public notification requirements have been fulfilled. and. Um, the city, city staff advises the Planning and Zoning Board recommend approval of the rezoning request to the Board of Aldermen. Um, we'd like, now we'd like to open this to uh, members of the um, public. Uh, first, are there any questions anybody has about this development to Planning and Zoning? Having heard none, we would like to invite members of the public who are uh, proponents of this development and when they do so would they please step up to the podium and give their name and address. Did you say proponents? Yes. Okay. Having heard none, are there any members of the public that would like to speak against this development? If so, please step up to the podium and address the uh, people your name and address. Oh, you, you, you're a yeah, No, pro, no, I said proponents. Okay. My name's Mike Duffy. I live at, uh, in the area, but not a directly uh, cont uh, contiguous property uh, in Trappers Creek, 121 Morning Tub Trail. And um, I think that, um, you know, with, uh, we're satisfied with one concern that I discussed with staff. Uh, I think commercial development in this area would probably be a good thing. We need the jobs. And, you know, in spite of some minor inconveniences that always go with anything that's that's busy, uh, we you know that's something we need to get busy on. So, so thank you very much. Uh -huh. Is is there anybody else that would like to speak for the development? Okay. Is there anybody here that would like to speak against the development? Okay. Well, at this point. I would like to return it back to the board. Is there any further discussion about this development at all? I'd like to um, make the staff report if that'd be acceptable. Okay, the staff report, please. Let me pull something up. So the um, rezoning request to C3 Commercial District, um, it's at a property that's approximately 88 acres. Um, the purpose of the rezoning request is permit the establishment of a multifamily housing development. Um, a little bit of background on the parcel. As you can see, it's um, never been developed. Um, it's, just, it's vacant land there. Um, 
the surrounding land uses um, to the north are R10 and RA residential districts. To the south is R15 and R10A residential districts. To the east is a mix of different residential district types and C4 neighborhood business uh, and C5 office institutional district. Um, to the west is, is a mix of residential districts as well. Um, all city provided utilities and services are available to the general area. According to the 2010 Camel Regional Land Use Plan, the area is classified as developed. A mix of land uses are included in this designation. Residential densities range from a maximum of one to five dwelling units per acre. Higher densities are permitted within multifamily residential and planned unit developments and within some zoning overlay districts within commercial areas of New Bern. The intensity permitted varies depending on the zoning district and overlay standards specified in the land use ordinance. Generally, the area is characterized by urban and higher intensity uses that require urban municipal or public services. Incompatible land uses uh, in this classification are industrial and agricultural uses. Um, according to the Regional Land Use Plan, the subject property ha is, has medium suitability for development and there are no known environmental hazards on the site. Um, the proposal to rezone the subject property to C3 Commercial District is consistent with the character of the adjacent land uses and zoning classifications. Staff has found the proposed rezoning to be in the public interest and is consistent with the CAMA land use plan and transportation plan. Staff recommends approval of the requested rezoning. Does anybody have questions from the zoning staff, the planning and zoning people? I, I want to make sure I know what I'm looking at in my mind because I admit I did not go to the site. Sure. It, is it located near Ruth Church? Mm -hmm. Something uh, like yeah, that? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, I know exactly what we're talking about. Right, okay, okay, yeah. Got it. Yeah. And um, I, I, I passed out um, a map, an, an additional map to you prior to the start of the meeting. Marshall, I don't think you got one. Let me grab it for you. Um, I got it now. I figured that's what it was. I, I just wasn't sure, but I, I was figuring And um, that actually is the FEMA flood map for the area. And you can see that there's a fairly substantial portion of the property that um, is not subject to flooding and is, is pretty suitable for development there. Um, I, I just have a quick question. Sure. Now, when I drove by, are we talking about the property once you cross the railroad track yeah. to Oaks Road? Not all the way to Oaks Road. If you look on the television screen there, um, this is kind of, this map is a little sideways right now, but um, the eastern, the boundary on the right side of that, that runs along the railroad track, and you can see it actually only runs a few hundred feet up uh, Simmons Street there. It doesn't make it all the way to Oaks Road on that side, but, but it does have a couple of tiny little strips that make it to Oaks Road um, that could probably be used as a secondary access point in the event of uh, development of the site. And I think the question that I have, um, isn't that a flood zone? What kind of plan do they have to... Yeah, so the map that I just handed you um, is a flood map, and you can see all, everything in blue uh, is, is flooding, and I'll actually... Um, I'm going to put this on the overhead, actually, so that we can take a quick look at it. Um, All the upland is in zone X, is that what you're saying? So this, this area here is the um, general area of the site in question, and you can see that a substantial portion of it is, is a water retention type situation right now, but the open land, as you can see, um, everything in blue is the flood zone. Mm -hmm. Everything not in blue is suitable for development. So you can see that there's actually a pretty substantial area that is suitable and outside of the floodplain. Questions? Now this is a development that we are recommending approval for disapproval to the zoning change to the Board of Oldham. So any 
we're ready to entertain a motion for approval of, of the site as described. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of the application as presented to the Board of Aldermen. Is there a second? Second. second. All in those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Let it be recorded that the motion passed unanimously. On to the second um, um, <coughs> new business, we have consideration of a schedule change. Mm -hmm. Brad, can you advise us of this motion, please? Sure. So, um, so essentially the situation is that we want to alter our submission deadline to be currently it's at two weeks prior to the meeting. We'd like to alter it to three weeks. As you know, we've discussed with the board sharing more information earlier on in the process. And this would allow us to do that. And it would also help us with some of our notification requirements if we were to make that change as well. So we're not proposing to change the dates of any of the meetings themselves. We just wanted you guys to be okay with the shift from the two-week submission deadline to the three-week submission deadline. So, um, if everyone's all right with that. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a good idea. We would have more time to review things so when big developments mm -hmm. come before us, we can digest them better. This is not a topic that we have to approve or with a roll call at all, is it? Uh, I wouldn't mind just a, a vote on that. There was any other discussion uh, on uh, item B that we'd like to have? No. Okay. Well, at this, mo at this point, I would like to entertain any um, motion to approve the uh, plan that staff has for giving the members of the board more time to review the material before the meeting. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Is it seconded? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion passes. Now, before we adjourn, does anybody have any uh, ideas about the planning and zoning? As the members of the planning and zoning board, we are all responsible for the uh, land use ordinance. And uh, now is a time where you can make any observation that you wish to improve the land use ordinance or other topics about zoning in our city. And the members of this board are welcome to make comments. Are there any comments? Okay. Having heard none, now is the time I'd that... I'd oh. like, I would like uh, uh, staff to let, give me an update on our ad hoc committee about uh, that we put together. Can you give me some time frames of what's happening? Um, um, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Good evening, Jeffrey Jerry with Development Services. Um, we put the project on hold for about six weeks. That um, went six weeks. Six weeks is what we did. You know, pending Morgan's leaving. Um, Brad's leaving us soon, so we have uh, some. We have positions to fill. Some one's already filled. The new person starts uh, next week. Next week, uh, yeah. So um, we just taking a little pause, making sure that we can still deliver the services to the city that we normally do um, before we do some of the extra work. It's still on the books. We uh, we got plenty of notes to go on from our previous meetings, and uh, we'll be moving forward with that once we have the effort in the department to take on the extra the extra type of work. Do we know what what six what six weeks brings? Where does that, that brings us um, to? I don't know yet. I, I don't know that. Okay. It's, it is my understanding that uh, the uh, planning and zoning uh, folks are going to be working in development services, working on what I'm referring to as the audit of the capacities of, of uh, different public works, namely things like sewage treatment, water, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And that's good. That, that order would be helpful to us on the large developments as well as <coughs> the board of Alderman. Any more comments or suggestions? Okay. Having heard none, do we have a motion? Are we ready to entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. And second. second. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Vote. Meeting's closed. Thank you.